Hey guys, uh, I want to show you today how I use backing tracks with the SQ drive. Well, what you need to do first is to go into your DAW, in my case I use Logic Pro, and if you have a click you can uh, turn the panorama uh, uh, to the left and if you've got the track on the other side turn the panorama to the right side. Then you bounce that one to a stereo track Remember the SQ takes W A V WAV, WAV, or however you pronounce it, files, um, and then you put it onto your USB stick and put it right into the SQ drive. So what I'm going to do now, or what I did, is I assigned, uh, in my case, uh, uh, input. Uh, 15 or channel 15 and 16 I called it click and track and this is coming from input 1 and 2 of the USB source with it which is in this case the um, SQ drive so and essentially I've got a mono playback right on my fader number 16 rare perfect and on the other hand I've got the click track this allows me to uh, uh, send this track not to the mains but maybe to the drummers in ears and this one I can send to of course to the mains or to anybody else who would like to have uh, the playback and the audience it would be the most obvious thing to to have some playback so what I did to not always go to the utility page and uh, hit the start play button there I simply assigned my, some of my soft buttons so for me I assigned number five as a play button and as you should hear the piano because there is a click in advance there it is and stop and I could go to the next tune which is ah, hit play and it's starting so stop pause next one play and if you if you're in the pause mode so that means if you have this little guy over there which doesn't mean you stopped you just paused it if you now press the next button it automatically starts the new track Two things, two wishes I would have for uh, Alan Teeth. First of all, I would like to see uh, the name of the track in that right hand corner over there. Because if I'm maybe uh, on the processing screen, I can't see which track I'm loading. And if I use this board as my playback machine for backing tracks, it's really handy to know if I'm on the right track. And the other thing, uh, is there is a little static pop if we um, start uh, the track let me show you there I hope you can hear it it's, it's not so obvious but if it's loud on a PA you can hear it clearly and this is a little bit annoying if you're in the middle of a show or maybe a theater production of course it's very quiet now You have to believe me, it's there. <laughs> um, it's not always there, but it's 80% uh, of the time. So, if you have any questions uh, concerning playing back music through the SQ drive or using the SQ drive as a uh, backing track machine, if I'm not, I wasn't clear that is possible because it's early in the morning, um, let me know, like, subscribe, and uh, see you next time.